Michael Jackson was one of the most iconic and influential pop stars of all time, but his life was also full of controversies and mysteries. His death in 2009 shocked the world and raised many questions about his health, lifestyle, and personal affairs. The autopsy report that was released after his death revealed some surprising details that shed light on his final moments and his physical condition. Here are some of the most surprising details found in Michael Jackson's autopsy report. He had several tattoos on his body, including one on his scalp to cover a bold spot, one on his eyebrows to create an illusion of fuller brows, and one on his lips to enhance their color. He had several scars on his body, including some from cosmetic surgeries, some from injuries, and some from medical procedures. He had a scar on his chest from a surgery to repair a collapsed lump, a scar on his abdomen from a surgery to treat an umbilical hernia, and scars on his knees and shins from falling. He had several health issues, including arthritis, vitiligo, chronic lung inflammation, and an enlarged prostate. He also had pneumonia and bronchitis at the time of his death, which may have contributed to his breathing difficulties. He had several drugs in his system, including propofol, lorispam, midazolam, diazepam, lidocaine, ephedrine, and more. The cause of his death was ruled as acute propofol intoxication, which means he overdosed on the powerful anesthetic that he used to sleep. The manner of his death was ruled as homicide, which means he was killed by someone else's actions. He had a low body weight and a low body fat percentage. He weighed only 136 pounds and had a body mass index of 18.5, which is considered underweight. He also had very little subcutaneous fat, which is the fat under the skin that helps regulate body temperature and cushion organs. These are some of the surprising details found in Michael Jackson's autopsy report that reveal more about his life and death. They show that he was a complex and troubled person who suffered from physical and mental issues. They also show that he was a victim of negligence and malpractice by his personal physician, who administered the lethal dose of propofol that killed him.